Alright, this Friday we will be broadcasting all four remaining WPIL championship games beginning at 11 a.m. on KDKA+. And in that first game, Fort Cherry will play top-seeded Southside Beaver. Fort Cherry tries to go where no Ranger team has gone before. Every school fortunate enough to make it into a WPIL championship game is pumped up. But after a 20-plus year absence in those finals, people at Fort Cherry are especially excited. It's crazy. I mean, everybody, everywhere you go, you see, I mean, this week for the playoffs, there's been like, uh, I don't even know, like sheets hanging off of bridges, like Ranger Nation, Ranger Pride, all that. It's, it's great to see support from the community, and the games have been packed. There's a lot of buzz just with the excitement that's, that's here, and uh, obviously whenever you have a team that's having success, you know, putting wins together, people are going to start paying attention. The Rangers are back in the championship game, largely due to the efforts of their sophomore quarterback, Matt Sieg. On the season, Sieg has run and thrown for over 3,100 yards and accounted for an amazing 54 touchdowns. Pitt and Penn State have already offered him a scholarship, and that has many people making comparisons to another high school prospect from that area who wore number three in red, Tyler Palco. I think I was in fifth, sixth grade whenever Tyler was a senior, and you knew who that was, you know, and that was a kid that I looked up to uh, that you know, I think could have been the reason that I also wore the number three, um, you know, and to put Matt in that category too is, you know, honestly, a, it's an honor for him. Sieg has a great mentor in Coach Gary, who was a Division I quarterback himself at Fort Cherry, but with two more years to make his college decision, this super sophomore is currently focused on the task at hand, leading Fort Cherry to its first WPIAL championship. Oh, that would mean the world. I mean, I don't, I don't think we have one, and just to be able to be a team like this and a special bond we all have, I mean, just to share that with everybody, it would just be insane. It would be a dream come true, really. I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't one of those things that people talk about. You know, there's been good teams, but you never won one. Um, it's obviously a goal of not just me, but a lot of people in the community, I'm sure, you know, are, are really hopeful for something like that. We want to make sure that we're just playing, having fun, not playing tight, and uh, just kind of seeing where it takes us. One, two, three.